might as well do a little video so for an impeller change on a on an old Yanmar 15 like this one QM I think this one is if I remember correctly the the pump sits like sits like this on these bolts and to get to the impeller you got to take the pump off to get to the back there to open it up so uh, you know you don't even get an advantage from having a speed seal plate on it because you've got to take the pump off anyway just to get to the back obviously on modern designs they've reversed it so that you can uh, you can open the the seal without taking the pump off but you know 1980 late 70s this engine so yeah let's continue and as i suspected the impeller is fine so it's just the inlet which is a bit crusted up which is why it doesn't quite get enough water all the time but uh, i think i might change this impeller anyway i'll just check i mean i've got plenty of spares i'm just not quite sure if i've got the right one let's have a look yeah i've got four spare <laughs> impellers and they're all the right ones but i really don't think i need to change this because it's in perfect condition there's no cracking on any of the arms i'm gonna leave it but you know at least we've had a look i think i've got a seal to go around there let me just check all cleaned up with some wire wool got a new paper gasket for it so now let's try and get it on without ripping the gasket there we go all done now of course the the way to tighten these is opposite 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 like you would on a car wheel and the torque spec is you tighten them up until one of them shears and then you back the others off half a turn perfect now just got to fit it back on the engine use the lugs on the engine to mount the pump so that when you attach the pipe it's in the right orientation and you don't end up because if you if you attach the pipe while the pump's not on the engine you might have it twisted which you don't want so very easy just put it in the right place first then attach the two pipes then take it off put the belt round and then put it back on now before i put the pump back on i'm going to take this opportunity where i've got a bit better excess to just take the strainer out of there, check that it's clean and uh, maybe poke something down and see if I can decrust the inlet pipe a little bit. So this is the strainer which goes inside that body there. Can you see it? Uh, there we go. So this, yeah, there. <laughs> so this strainer goes inside that body there. So all the water that comes up, comes up the inside of this and then into the engine. And you know that's not bad there's hardly anything in there so i'll give it a quick wash and a, and a rinse and uh, then i'll poke something down the floor so it's all back together pump is back on belt tightened now i do have a problem this is a pencil anode into the engine there's one on the back as well and i checked them two years ago and they were fine but I obviously tightened it up too much because I can't get it off. And I tried a, some percussive engineering, but that did not work either. I don't want to bash it too hard. So I'm going to wait until I get back to Valencia, having run the engine for some time getting in. It'll be hot then. And uh, I'll try and take them off when, when the engine's hot. I'm also going to do the oil change then as well. But you know, 19, they stopped making these engines in 1980. So it's at least, what's that, 430? It's, it's very old. Can't do the maths.